Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do this quick video to address a question that I get pretty often. And that question is, why do I not have an intercooler? So stay tuned. So originally, I planned to use one and I was going to use this Treadstone intercooler that came off of Collins Cobra. So I bought enough piping for it. However, during the fab process, we realized it would add a bunch of time to do one. And I'm sure everyone remembers how little time we had. And for those that are new, I had the great idea to turbo my car, uh, do sky rod panels, uh, E85 a month and a half before Mustang week. So that's why I couldn't put an intercooler on the car. All right, so after driving the car, getting it on the dyno and looking over the logs, I realized that my car really doesn't need an intercooler for its current engine and power setup. I have a 76 millimeter precision turbo here, which is a little big for a 302 but I bought it with the intentions of actually growing into the turbo. Uh, also being on E85, it helps keep things cooler since it uses much more fuel than 93 and it helps cool off the air in the cylinders. So now I'm gonna show you some of the logs so you can see my temps. So here's one of the only driving logs I could find. It's a bunch of short pulls that I did on the highway. After getting it up to temp and driving for a bit, then doing these short little hits, the air temps were still in the 120s. Looks like the max it got to was 128, but under normal cruising, it stays in the low 100s. The second log is from my dyno day. This was actually the fifth and final pull of the day. My car did have a little cool down time between each pull, but not much. So after the last pull, when I let out, it was 125 degrees. As you can kind of see by the blue line, it does creep up to about 130 after I let off, but then within 30 to 60 seconds, it comes back pretty quickly. Now, these temps aren't bad at all for being not intercooled. If they were up in the 140, 150 range, then I start to worry. But for now, sticking to around nine pounds of boost, I'm going to do the simpler route and stay non intercooled. Once I get a better engine and really push this 76 millimeter turbo to its limits, I'll definitely be putting one on. So I hope that answers the question that I've been getting asked a lot. If you have any more questions, definitely comment below and I will try my best to answer them. In my next video, I will actually be starting a how-to series. So I'm gonna be installing these upper and lower control arms from UPR, shout out to UPR. And while we're in the back of the car, I'm going to be refreshing my rear end because it's been leaking some fluid since I bought the car. I'm gonna be taking that apart, cleaning it up, resealing it, putting it back together. So the rear of the car should be good for car season. And I'm excited to start a how-to series. I have a Holly intake on the way and some other goodies for the car that I don't want to give away yet. So, yep, yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.